is money saving Monday and that is why all morning long we've been asking you to send us your questions on personal finance and joining us now to answer them all is financial advisor Shanna Tingem. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Shanna. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. All right, let's talk money. And yes. we're hoping to save a little bit of money. That's the big stuff. All right, we're going to go to our first question here. This is from Bobby out of Phoenix. He says, my biggest financial concern is paying back student loans. I am trying to pay off my $120,000 of student loans, but with high monthly payments starting up in October of 2023, and some looming uncertainty with loan forgiveness and the rising cost of living. Ugh, it's tough on all of us, isn't it? Yeah. He says, I'm so anxious about it. What should we do here? How, how do we help to pay off some of those loans and maybe make a little bit of headway? Yeah, for sure. Student loans are a big concern for a lot of folks. And that's one of the things that uh, we talk about a lot. And really, it comes down to making sure that the money that you make is stretching as far as you can. So budget, budget, budget. And if you haven't already, consider consolidating because sometimes you can uh, really come up with some different repayment schedules or those types of things. And, you know, we have to make sure that the money that we have coming in is being well spent. And those uh, those are concerns that that a lot of folks have. But it, but it but it's important to make sure that that budget is really uh, solid and tight. And I know for me, it's not only making the budget, you got to stick to it. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Making it doesn't do any good if you're not going to stick to it. All right. And Siobhan from Peoria sent us another question this morning. Thank you so much to everyone that submitted. They write, my biggest concern is how to save for the future while trying to afford bills and rising cost of groceries. We have a one year old grandson we recently adopted any advice would be appreciated. So can you help, Shannon? Yeah, I can. <laughs> so you for sure have a great opportunity with your grandson to start small. And, you know, a one year old with just 25 or $50 a month can have a really nice nest egg when they get ready to go to college. And so that's something that I think all of us could say we could cut out a few lattes or maybe save a little bit at the grocery store in order to squirrel away $25, $50 a month. And that's um, super important when you've got somebody that young. So that's the first thing I would say is start now, start small and increase it as, as you get older. And I'm back to the budget conversation because as groceries costs rise, as the cost of things at the building supply stores rise, we can control what we can control, which is our budget. And I think that's empowering to remind people that it feels good to be in control and to make some of those hard stipulations, set yourself you know, in those parameters. And then when you look back and think, wow, look what I did, that, that's pretty cool. It can be really tough, yeah. I know, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's for sure. Hard. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So th that's just my biggest piece of advice is just watch where the money is going. And if you have the time or the energy with a, with a little one, you can maybe find a little bit of extra work here and there. That'll help too. But those are the two pieces we can control, what comes in and what goes out. Shanna, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you to all of you that submitted your questions for the Money Saving Monday tips. And now we'll send it over to Crystal.